Spinner rigs, the most in vogue rig in carp fishing. It's been like that for quite some time now. I have lost count of how many carp I've been fortunate enough to catch on them. And there's a reason for that. It is devastating as a tactic, as a rig. Very difficult for fish to eject. Moves, does all sorts underwater, which is difficult for carp to deal with. And ultimately, it has very, very good anti-tangle properties and it resets itself time after time underwater. So I'm gonna show you how I tie it with one more cast components in our tackle range. Um, firstly, what I've got is if you like the conventional spinner rig, that includes our kickback hook link. I'm using the heavier, higher diameter version here. There's two sizes. This is the heavy one. Um, and then I'm using our 0.7 crimps to crimp it down. So what I do when I'm tying this, the first thing I do is I make a crimp, slide the crimp on, and then I put our spinner swivel onto it, and then I slide it back through the other barrel of the crimp, okay? Then I use the quarter crimp tool and I go into the large cavity of that. I close it down um, as much as I can, you know, with my strength. I have so much strength. <laughs> I shut it down as much as possible. And then I just go to the flat end of the tool and just pinch it down a bit more. And I know by doing hand tests myself, I can't pull them apart. I have to pull it really, really hard. Um, and actually that's exactly the type of setup that we've got in our all-in-one rigs that will also be released in our terminal tackle launch. Uh, you'll have the Meta terminal tackle all-in-one rigs and there's a spinner setup in there, um, which is done exactly like this. But the hook is different on this particular one. Here, I'm using the Cassian hook. This is a size four, okay? So what I next do is I take the hook out of the pack, I slide on in this turn, uh, the blood liner in turn aligner, okay? Um, so that goes onto there, I slide that onto the hook. Next, I put on the micro ring swivel onto the shank. And then finally, word of note, the long distance hook bead. This is the small one, there's two sizes, an absolutely brilliant product. It might look small, but honestly, these have taken a lot of work because they've been the bane of my life, a poor hook bead that can slide and after a little bit of use, is too loose on the hook. It can't take a cast with big baits. These are, without a doubt, the best hook beads you will ever see. Um, until someone else or we develop a better one, but they are deadly. So you've got the Cassian hook, it's all on there. Then all you have to do is hook it onto the spinner swivel that's already crimped on, and then just simply pull down the intern blood liner onto the swivel and you're left with that. That end like that, exactly as you are. Everything's on there. So before I crimp the other end of the hook link, what I do is I actually slide on one of our 50 mil anti-tangle sleeves. This is the tungsten blend version. There's two types of this in our range. You've got the Vita Bits one, which is your sort of translucent anti-tangle sleeve. Then you've got the tungsten version, and that's what we've got here, okay? Because I know it's heavy, it's really gonna push out and kick that hook link away. Um, so slide that on, and then basically I repeat the process of the crimping, but this time all I'm doing is forming a small loop. So. I just um, put on the 07 crimp. Well, there's an 07 and an 06 based on the diameter of line we're gonna, you're gonna use. In the kickback, you've got two braking strains as mentioned earlier. And then quite simply, you clip it onto here. I've got our size eight QC ring swivel. Uh, and all you've got to do is pull the hook link onto the, onto the latch and then slide the anti-tangle sleeve over. Uh, and that enables you to interchange lengths or hook links, um, and that's part of our Vitabits range of swivels. There's loads of different ones for different cases that you're gonna need in your fishing. So working back onto the actual leader itself, uh, this is our um, blend lead core. This is the weed green, beautiful color, lovely speckles in it to break up the bottom. Um, and quite simply what I've done is I've put um, a quarter heli safe. So when I've spliced it, I've used the half swivel that comes with that. Um, and that's onto there. Then I've slid on um, the size 8 QC swivel. Finally, a bead. That's to be extra safe. It's got an inner taper that allows it to run over any loops or bumps on the uh, leader itself. So if a fish does you know, snap your line or you get cut off, that hook link can pass over the, the system. So this is the helicopter version for its rotation. Um, that means you can move that bead up to fishing weed anything really. That Cassian hook, 
was invented for fishing on the continent, but it's so strong for snag fishing, everything else. This is a setup you can take absolutely anywhere. And like I say, in our terminal tackle, meta terminal tackle, ready rigs range, this our almost identical setup, apart from the hook, will be in it. So all you've got to do is tie a knot at the other end and you'll be able to fish with this exact setup, you know, how I would fish the spinner. So that's one version. If I'm going on, I apologise. Hopefully this is useful for, for some of the newcomers out there that haven't set up a spinner before. So this is the second variation. This time we've got the Colne Valley hook on there in a size four. Um, and this is dead simple because it doesn't involve any crimping. So you've got your, you've set the spinner end up exactly the same way. You put your kicker, your intern blood liner onto the, onto the hook. You've put the micro ring swivel on, you put the long distance hook bead on, and then all you've got to do is connect it to the, the spinner swivel in our range. And then what I've done here, instead of using a really stiff material like the kickback, I've used our blend coated braid. And that this time creates a more supple boom section so you've got some more supple hook link and because it's fished on the lead clip that allows you to have if you like a, a, a sort of more delicate setup that will nestle on top of weeds the lead can plummet into it but you know you've got a nice hook link that will just nestle on there so the blend coated braid is very very adaptable you can obviously fish it with a little hinge or you can use it as the main section of your spinner swivel and it's finished off there with the brilliant blend putty, which as, you, as I've said before in other videos, you do not need a sinker for it to be molded around. It really does just stick onto the hook link. Look, I can't pull that. I'm pulling full strength, both hands, and that is sticking lovely. So you know it'll always stay on. You don't have to worry about putty coming off on the cast. And this setup with the leg clip and a sample prototype, um, polyurethane leader, you have got a setup you can take absolutely anywhere and it's going to catch you the most pressured carp wherever you go.